you know, when people think of um, Where Did You Sleep Last Night, they often think of the MTV Unplugged version. But you actually recorded, from what I understand, the original one that Mark Lanigan and Kurt Cobain did together. Is this correct? Correct. And what was the story there exactly? I may get this wrong because nobody has asked me about this for a long time. Um, at some point, there was a session where Mark Lanigan and Mark Pickerel, the drummer from The Screaming Trees, and Kurt Cobain and Chris Novoselic were going to come in and record a side project that they'd been doing where they supposedly were writing some songs together. Now, they booked the time, and then apparently they never wrote any songs together. Or as Kurt said, well, we wrote some songs together, but we forgot them all. I don't know if it ever happened, actually. Mm -hmm. But he said, what we're going to do instead is we're just going to record some Lead Belly tunes. And I thought, okay. Um, so they came in and recorded... And I think this is when that session took place. They recorded Where Did You Sleep Last Night. They recorded Ain't It a Shame, which is on the box set. And something called Grey Goose, which I had no memory of for years and years because it doesn't have a vocal. It's literally one riff over and over again. It's not very exciting. But there it was on the master tapes when we finally pulled it out. Um, they just, for some reason, nobody bothered singing on it that day. And uh, it ended up on the box set, I think, that was all they managed to do that day. One song with Mark singing, one song with Kurt singing, and an instrumental. And uh, and I asked them, what do I put on the log sheet? And they said, I'll call it the jury. I said, okay. So, but, it, you know, it wasn't really a band. But it was the only time I got to record Mark Pickerel drumming with Chris and Kurt. And I think that is where that version of Where Do You Sleep Last Night came from. Because sometime, sometime after that, when I was recording Mark Lanigan's first solo record, I think the subject of that song came up and we decided to just put that on the end of it. That's why that song is on the winding sheet. There's another song on the winding sheet called Down in the Dark, uh, where we got Kurt to come in and do a backing vocal, and I'm doing a little electric guitar on it as well. Mm -hmm. Probably the only thing on which I'm playing guitar with Kurt singing that exists, which is interesting. I haven't really thought about that. Uh, so, um, yes, but that was the version, that arrangement of the song, I think, is what inspired Kurt to do the song at the Unplugged session much later. Really? Probably so. You know, although really, Kurt was... Kurt was present when we recorded the Mark Lanigan version, so I mean, I'm sure they arranged it together. Anyway, this is all speculation. So, for you, um, when you listen to, I guess, the unplugged version, uh, how does it compare compared to the versions that you were involved with? Like, what do you think of it? The arrangement is the same. Um, the difference really is the instrumentation and the vocal. He sings it very similar to how Mark Lanigan sings it, but you know. He puts the sort of Kurt passion into it, really. Yeah. Different players, different instrumentation. I think the only thing in common is, I mean, Kurt's playing acoustic on it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe for more. All the videos on this channel are original. I'm the one conducting all the interviews and editing all the videos together. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support, the best way to do so is honestly just to subscribe. Lots more to come.